Jesus. Is marriage worth it? Let's go back I to knew, that again. I have seen your shade, shade room I, yeah, I comments. comments You're always there. there. <laughs> I got the comments in there. there. What's this, what's this always What's this like, is marriage worth it? Is, is, is it marriage, worth should it? We, should people really be getting married? And you're like, hmm. I see him all the time. I'm like, wow. Uh, is it worth it though? If you're rich. If you're rich, is, <laughs> if, if you're, you're rich, rich, is it worth you it? You need to think twice about yeah, it. Yeah, I not think so. Lie. If you're rich, <laughs> look at Jeff Bezos. He's living his best life now. Mm. The the, mm. the the um the same with Bill Gates. My man got single and and just had to go to the space. <laughs> Imagine that. I feel like if you're rich, I think you should. Unless she's like Ryder, I think you should think that because contractually that's messy. Very like, very very, very messy. However. But but people get ma- like because we had this conversation last time. It's like yeah, don't did. be afraid to get married and stuff because you can still get married and be successful and still just split assets according to what you came in with. I feel I, like that's that's a lot of women will not take that. Come on, man. Depends I, who your man is. Though. A lot of women will not take that. <laughs> a lot of people who've been she can can't be broke. Take for twelve years. She can be broke shit. and you want her to leave broke. You crazy? I know you Hell, would I know you, you take it? Pre not it, but yeah. No, nah, I don't think you would. I would. Work. I think for but for me, it depends what I'm doing. Because for me, I'm a different. I can't be a housewife. Like okay. I said this last time, yeah, it's yeah. not for me. Yeah, but I can't no matter what home. you're doing, he's still rich. Nah, but like, thing, he's I, for me, rich. it's like unless unless I know like I physically, if for me, and I said this before, if I'm physically contributing to his business, I'm already taking percentages. No, what? Do you understand? So that's not. But what even if I you're not contributing with, towards his business, you're still contributing towards his life. No, you're but you're I think if I'm not contributing to his business, I don't want to touch him it. Every day, man, it's nah. not just about the sex or the physical. If I'm if I'm cutting up onion and all them things, nah. I don't really need a percentage of that. Yeah, like, bro. I'm alright. Yeah, but business, bro. but emotionally, you're there for him, bro. Anyone could you say that now today? You say that now today, fam. Anyone could fill up my emotions in the marriage. But the thing is, you're you're looking at you're looking at two women who are grinders. You know, you you run a bar for them and that. You know, when when if I'm working, if I'm working, bro, let me finish. Emotionally, when they've got, tro- got when they've got troubles and that, they come to you, talk to you about it. You're the one that comforts them, and all. you're gonna think about all of that. You know, trust no, me, yeah. because that's the same as a woman. You understand? Nah, as a woman man. entrepreneur, that's just it's the same thing. If I have troubles, if I have emotions, you need to run me a bath. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To, it's the same thing. You forget. This is the thing about sometimes it's like men forget that women too can be bosses. This is what you guys forget. You guys mm. think the entrepreneurship lies with the man. It doesn't. I'm not even thinking about that. So I'm just this, thinking about your So, but the your same way, it's like, yeah, so invested. if he caters to me, <laughs> do I want a percentage <laughs> of that? Could you, could you, no, 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 any woman that would say if they split up with their husbands and then they were rich and they are not going to take a penny they are lying but if the woman doesn't have any assets to begin with of course she wants to say you've got 10 mil he's got 100 he's got 500 mil you're just gonna watch him walk away with that five hundred mil. But if you have ten mil. mil, how did you get that ten mil? You worked hard for it. If you Fair have enough, a business, but you then... know you've got, you know you're entitled to some of his money. You're not gonna take it. But I don't understand. If you have how ten mil, how, how, come, how come you can't have hundred? Because you're married to him. Marriage doesn't automatically. You're you're married, you've got kids with him, you know you can get some of it. You're not entitled to it, but you know if you took it to court, you'll get a percentage of it. Yeah, then you set up a you set up percentages for your children and you set up trust funds for your children. So you're but, not gonna, bro. Nah, if you nah, if nah, you nah, can nah, make ten mil, yourself, no. you as a woman can make a hundred mil. If yeah. you have, because it's the same business that you used to make ten mil. You, you need to also Chrissy. understand that it's the tables. Why, this, this is why I love you, bro. The Go tables on, is the same for a man as a woman. If you are both entrepreneurs, if you are a housewife, which Dr. Dre's wife was, that ten mil took you. 15 years Then your to, business is not build. working hard enough because at the, at the same time if you're all both on the same level this is not even a conversation that you should be bro, having then you set up assets for everybody like your children whatever whatever It's children but bro you, at this point it's kids nah, Now you guys you, are taking it to different places No because it's, <laughs> it's a business It's from a business a We're talking about you on the basic term on a the basic wife, level A housewife A wife because a lot of these successful men don't want their women to work anyway so as a wife are you entitled to his money? Because because yes. you guys just ma- huh? Yes, as a wife, you're not doing anything as a wife. <laughs> I, I used to like you. I used as to like wife, you. What's going on here? As a wife, but as a business 
woman and yeah. as an entrepreneur, especially if he is not a prime investor, where are you? Why are you? What, why are you tapping in there? Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. What, like, women need to, like, come on now. People should not People should not be entitled to people's money just because they got married, both men yeah. and women. I don't think I, I, just think I, I don't think that's the right thing. Just because we got married, now you're entitled to, to, to 200 million. The fuck? What's going on? I'm not saying it's the right thing. I'm just saying many women would want a piece of that cake. Yes, Unless you yes, are a yes, contributor a to that cake. P- to that piece of you, cake. This is yeah. what, what people don't understand. If you are a contributor, every idea, for example, if every idea is 5%, I need my 5%. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but then you how do we calculate the idea that you brought in though? Because, because mind you, because mind you, when you guys were in the relationship, it wasn't like, all right, this is my like, idea. Yeah. 5%. No, the but business doesn't work like up. that. You see, business doesn't work like that. We don't do, for example, if we have like pillow talk and I'm like, oh, you have like the podcast. I'm like, you should do da 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 mm. I'm telling you, you should do da da 5%. Like, I do that, I do that, <laughs> right, I do that with my family members. Yeah, but at that point, I do that with that my point, family you, members. You're not going to be thinking, yeah, yeah, but at that point, you will be thinking down the line, we'll be splitting up. For example, yeah, look at Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Weird example, but look how, I don't know if you guys saw with the posting yeah. where she wanted to post with a company for a million dollars, a million dollars. Yeah. And then they knock off easy, mm. and she asks him, like, "Do you think I should do it in the house, not business, in the house, whatever?" You... Now nah, they knock off easy. You know, you should have. She didn't do it. Left mm-hmm. it. This is house talk. And then he Dash gives her, her a check. But but then she didn't. You see? Yeah, but she did not demand for it. She didn't but demand the thing for is, the but check. The thing, she didn't. But she knew because he's already given her shares in Disney, you know what? shares in Adidas. So she knew. She's not that stupid. Is, you know what? Let's talk about She's, that. Come on no, now. No, 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 no. You know what? That's part of the reason why it kind of hurts me that they broke up. I think I don't know I, if it hurts anybody. No, 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 no. I don't like the fact that they broke. I wish they come back together though, because yo, Kanye West, he is the guy. He needs therapy. No, he does not. Yes, he does. He's Ooh, grieving enough of his mother, does, man. He does. Man. He, he does. does. He needs therapy. No, he doesn't. He has recovered he's good. from the loss of his mother. He is good. Come on, man. Man. The man he's has already good. said he's Come got on. bipolar. You're going to say the man is good. He told you he has bipolar. Man is a genius, man. The number of times he's broken me. down, not he's only on social media. He's told you that he's not Come good. And you two are telling him, no, you're fine. I think he's good, man. I think he's good, man. Oh, my. Listen, his new album that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah, Donda. But yeah, my man. Just said, I think three three days before the listening party. Yo, we have the listening party. This, this, this. everything was sold out. Yeah, yeah, because he's Man, because but like like there's something about the guy. It's called yeah? mental health. <laughs> Because you have mental health, there is a section of the brain that allows you to almost be like ingenious. He's a genius. But it doesn't take away that he's got mental health. Do you see what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're mixing the two. He is a bloody genius, but a part of that is the way the brain is constructed. Do you understand? I think so a lot of people that are saying that he's got a mental problem are people that don't like him. Or, so he doesn't like himself because he's told everyone that he well, has bipolar. Madness is a very thin line. Very, 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 exactly. very, very. Exactly. It's very, very I don't similar like, to you. I, I don't like how you guys are portrayed, my man. Oh, but he, he said, told he you. Said he's going by <laughs> he has told <laughs> us you. That's why he's right. That's why he's saying he's How can you wake impossible. up one but day just and, then, because he's he's good. Good. and then post but pictures of, of your contract, he's good. of your 100 page contract on Twitter for everyone to read? He's not. No, he's, but see, all but, these but little you things, man, they're all okay, signs. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. Let me quickly go to that. Yeah, of course, Dad. You, you got me. All right, you know what? When you come back, we'll, we'll talk about this because I wanted to paint paint this picture, anyways. Anyways, anyways, we just had a little little break in it. Okay. You know what I mean? A little smoke session and shit <laughs> for people that smoke. For people shit. that smoke. For people that smoke mm-hmm. in there. But back to Kanye West, yeah. Mm-hmm. The only reason why because you brought out the um you said oh the mom was gone that he needs rapping everything. But Kanye West has always been like this even before the mom died. Let me tell you why. If you remember. Mm-hmm. Judge Bush era, he came out on TV, right? Uh-huh. Doing this whole fundraiser thing. I think it was the tsunami that, I think tsunami that happened in St. Louis or something like that. You know what I mean? This was in the Judge Bush era and everyone was on TV. All the celebrities were on TV, mm. donating money. My guy just came out on TV. Just like that. Judge Bush does not, Judge Bush does not care people. about black people. Yeah. And they were like, whoa, 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 whoa what the fuck? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's always been this guy. But the thing is, then, yeah, people loved what he said because a lot of people didn't like George Bush. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kanye West is the guy. Boom. And he did it with Taylor Swift. Yeah, Kanye West is the guy. He did it with Amber Rose. 
yeah, Kanye West is the guy. <laughs> but then now he he's now saying what people don't like. I G uh, um I E the whole um slavery thing. Mm -hmm. You know he said it, and then um which other one did he said Trump. Mm -hmm. He supported Trump. Now people don't like what he's saying. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. But he's always been this guy from the first time he came in. He's always gone on rants when they told him that he can't be a rapper. He said, da, 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 da. He, he became a rapper when they said, oh, you cannot get into fashion. Oh, no, fuck. Da, 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 da. He got into fashion when they said, oh, you're trying to bottle me. Like when he says what people like, everyone, yo. Mm -hmm. But then when he say what people don't like, everyone now call him crazy. But he's always been this guy. Go and Google it. He's always been this guy. But he still needs help. <laughs> Kojo, I said that feeling I said this is No, I think I think he's a bit more like erratic now. Very, very. And I feel like since his mum's died, he's been a lot more carefree in terms of like vocally. I feel like all the things that you're talking about, I feel like the George Bush thing was very like outspoken, bam, he said it. And then it like simmered down. Then he simmered down. I feel like the Amber Rose era, when he was dating Amber Rose, he was very like hip hop in terms of like, he would walk around like with a Hennessy in his but He didn't give a fuck. Mm. Yeah, he, he doesn't give a fuck. I feel like now, the way he talks now is a little bit more of a cry for help than it is more of a, this is my opinion. And this is how I feel. The only thing I agree with when with what he said was when he started talking about the Kardashians. I mean, he talked about like their system, how they work systematically. Right. I feel like that wasn't a cry for help. That was him being very honest about what goes on within their family. Yep. But I feel like just looking at him and how he is now, I feel like all those times you talk about that then, I think Kanye was very confident. And he was very much himself. He's very much outspoken. Now he just seems very sad and very just like, just within himself. Mm. And I feel like that's just ever since his mum has died kind of thing. And he's talked about it. My thing is that he talks about it. Yeah. So it's like, you can't ignore the things that he's talking he's about. You. Even when he talks about his children and stuff. And, right. you know, I just think he's just very, very just sad within himself. But then also, yeah, it's so funny that you said that because... A lot of guys that I know that lost, especially their mom. Yeah. Right? Will tell you once they lost their mom, they just didn't give a fuck about anything again. Yeah. Because moms, sometimes you want to do something. You, you go to your mom say, nah, don't, don't do that. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that. And then you be like, all right, mom, cool. Mm. You get what I mean? But then once that person who could tell you to sit down and you sit down is no longer there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of my friends that have lost their, their mom, especially their mom, will tell you, bro, once I lost my mom, I just didn't give up. a fuck anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think he's probably at that place in his life because he, obviously he was very close to his mom. Mm -hmm. He's the only child or something, isn't he? He is, yeah. You know, and then just losing her, especially the way, you know, he lost her. Mm -hmm. You know, rest in peace to her. But the way she died, it's probably not the best way. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure somewhere at the back of his mind, he's probably thinking, it's probably my fault. Because if I'm not in the position that I am now and the resources that I have, she probably would not have died, died this way. Yeah. Because I think she died trying to get a lipo, or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, surgery and everything. So you so you can tell things like that will kind of mm -hmm. lean on you. Like you're thinking, nah, it's probably my fault. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like she got old and died. You know what I'm saying? She was just coming into, you know. So it's just one of them ones, bro. But I mean, at the end of the day, he's probably he he probably needs he probably needs help. <laughs> right but then i also think that somewhere my my mind's a genius man oh he is of course he is oh, a he genius is. That, that that doesn't take away from the fact that he's a genius but i think everything else aside from the creativity is just it needs like he yeah. just needs to sit down yeah. and kind of like but, talk it through yeah but but like i've never been a kardashian whatever I you know i've, I've never watched the show in my life <laughs> i've never been on that but but i did like their relationship. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like her. I think yeah, he's especially yeah, their relationship. I feel yeah, like I she did. tolerated him out of all the guys she's been with, she tolerated him the most. He made her. And it's, she stuck through it. No, no, no. I wouldn't say tolerated what? him. I wouldn't say tolerated him because yes, Kanye West, um yes, Kim Kardashian was obviously she was Kim Kardashian, but she was sort of like in the Paris Hill thing so lane. You get what I'm saying? Where 
them tacky white girls sort of thing, right? But I think, yeah, yeah, it's true. I think she got into a fashion bag. Yeah, but he disrespected that family time and time I again. He... And she didn't say nothing. So she tolerated a lot. Because I feel like if it was any other relationship that she would like, Chris Humphreys, whatever, she would have been like, listen, yeah, you need to sit down because I could buy you out. But I feel like with Kanye, he would disrespect her mother, disrespect her family, and she would not say nothing. And she held That actually it started recently, though. That, that was not always as, the case. Though. But I feel like, as though... Little yeah, under twins, yeah, yeah, I feel like living. at first she was like this trophy type of like a pinnacle to him. Yeah. Because I feel like... Like, he dealt with Kim through all his relationships. Like, I don't know if people know this, but, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, when yeah. he was with Amber, he was, he was, he was dabbling lighter. with Kim. Was when lighter. he was married to Alexis, he was dabbling with Kim. So... Talking about being in a relationship and and, and, and being in love with someone else. He he said it with his own mouth. Yeah, he did say that. I'm not gonna Boom. Uh, he said it with his own mouth. I'm but glad. He was in, he was, he you was in, He was he engaged got to Alexis I'm a genius. Well. I'm a genius. <laughs> You this is, but this is the same person that said that they wouldn't do it. So what's going on here? This is the same person that said they wouldn't do because it. Because he said with his own mouth that he's always been in love with Kim, even when she was with um Chris Humphreys. Yeah, she was married. Yeah. He he even he, and he was her, engaged as well. Yeah, and he was engaged. He told her like, "Why are you with that bum dude? Like, what's going on with you? You, you get what I'm saying? Because because like, it was already in shambles." That whole marriage was yeah, it looked yeah. like it was gonna collapse any day. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think I think what it what it was was, you know, at, at that time, just like you said, the, the whole trophy thing in it. I uh-huh. think he was more or less like into would I say love or loss, which, whichever one it is, right? Lust, but but yeah. like he just didn't care about the whole history. Oh, she had no, a sex. No, because day. he could he could clothe her. This is how I feel like he saw her. I feel like he saw Kim as like a trophy and as as a blank canvas. And he was in his like he already had his like fashion ideas. I remember the time he had this thing and he wanted to go with Gap. Remember Gap rejected him. Remember all of these things yeah. and Adidas and all of this other stuff before he then and he tried to get into like high fashion and they wouldn't accept him. So I feel like he already had the vision and Kim was that perfect canvas. You know what you're right. I never really looked at him like this. Because yeah. he clothed her every day. Yeah. Remember he would she couldn't leave the house yeah. unless he had picked her clothes. So he saw her as like you have an in-house model. She even said it with her own mouth. Mm-hmm. She said that I couldn't go anywhere without him clothing her. Without him. Like he yeah. he would tell her no, no. Don't you, wear this. No, yeah. you, and and that's the thing that some of these girls they complain, oh my boyfriend my, Kim said that. Yeah, but Ka- your Kanye. boyfriend ain't high fashion, so don't yeah. let your boyfriend come dress you in fucking yeah. trainers yeah. and Adidas. Don't yeah. let no yeah. man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen. Your boyfriend's a Kanye West, Listen, yeah? if it's not Alexandra, <laughs> like, like, listen, if it's not Vivian West, well, we don't want to know. Like, don't Chrissy. come dress me in your future, JD sports. Future, like, Chrissy, like, you got the burnt out to them, man. You just, listen, you just, you just splash it everywhere, man. Let, let, could you not let these people come show you dreams, of it? If he's not dressing me in Vivian Westwood, like, Tom Ford, that's how it starts, though. Yeah. What's how it starts? It wasn't JD. <laughs> <laughs> nah. A man wanted to just win JD. Oh, oh, look, I tried to see. No, no. Don't stop. Stop lying to these but girls. This is street fashion. This is London. London. Yeah, this it's is London. It's a new London. thing. That's yeah. black. Like, I don't, don't know. Before you realise, his, his label what? will be in JD, Foot Locker and that. You never know, mm. innit? That's how it starts. Ladies, don't let these girls go. Because he's going to dress you. He's going to dress you. And, in how he can afford to Call dress us, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna dress you how he can afford to dress you. So allow it, girl. No, Do you know another person who did that? Oswald Boating. So Oswald, oh, when he got married, his yeah. wife was a model, but she was just like coming in and he dressed her all the way down to the runway. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 